This is Office on Demand via Office 365. I'm going to demonstrate it from my wife's computer. Um, you may hear some background noise occasionally. That's a bit of authenticity as I'm at home with my family. So first off, I'll show you we're on a Windows 7 computer and my wife has Office 2007 Home and Student Edition installed. So I'm wanting to um, demonstrate the features of Office on Demand. So you can see there Office 15 or Office 2013 is not installed. So we sign into Office 365. And I see the admin menu, but um, regular users will see the same menu along the top here. And I go into SkyDrive. And SkyDrive will show you a number of different things. Down the left-hand side, you'll see some recent documents that you've opened. And a little gray menu there saying, use Office On Demand. So if you're licensed for the Office 2013, you can use this feature. We're going to launch Word. First thing it's going to offer is to install a browser add-in. And then it starts to stream down Office to your computer. Now just to um, show you what's happening in the background, a couple of processes have started up. So we've got uh, two processes called Roaming Office, and this is control in the streaming process. Also, what we have in the background, the location of where this office has been streamed to is within the user's profile. So you can see, see users and the username, and it's created a folder called Microsoft Office 15. And the applications will be streamed in there. So while it's still streaming, it's going to uh, prepare Office, or rather prepare Word, and then start streaming down the features for that too. We're using a, a home internet connection. Um, it's pretty basic ADSL. So this is perhaps a, a good reflection of what the average user might have at home. Um, obviously, if you've got a, a business connection at work and um, you know, uh, at, a, at a site where you're perhaps trying to access Office On Demand, it will stream a little faster. So shortly, you will see Word, and you'll be able to start using Word, while some of the additional features will be streaming in the background. Okay, now I'm not sure about this part of the installation. Um, it may be trying to access uh, this document template file on, on my wife's computer. So I'm not sure if this will pop up as a message for everyone who uses Office On Demand. So I just skipped through these steps. I'm just going to resize Word so that it can fit within the window that I'm filming in. And obviously it's streaming down the templates in the background. Now, the next thing that I suggest you do is sign into Office. And the reason that you can do this is that it will bring across a number of your different settings from um, your Office 365 account. So you might have recent documents or some of your common places that you um, store your documents. So I'll just quickly get that in there. Apologies for the slow typing. My password is also dot dot dot, like um, the rest of the world. So what this is doing is it's making a connection to my settings in Office 365. And in addition to it streaming down some of the, the um, features from Word, I'm now connected and I'm starting to see some of the settings that I have for, for Word. Um, and as you can see, it's also loaded my recent documents. 
So uh, this is the document that I'm wanting to connect to and, and adjust using Office On Demand. So there's, there are great benefits in signing into Office and making your recent documents and other things more accessible. Um, if I was to go into open other documents, what it's also done is it's added some of those places. So it is now within Office On Demand, added the SharePoint location for some of my other document libraries as well. I have a connection to my, my site or my SkyDrive and to shared documents within my team site. So if we back it up a bit, go into recent documents and this is the document that I want to work on. Now as um, always, you're probably only seeing part of that message, but um, that's just a message saying that again, it's streaming some of the features down in the background. So sometimes if you click on one of the features in the ribbon, it may be unresponsive. And this is Word going away to, to my SharePoint site and it is loading up the document and allowing me to now use the full featured version of Word to make changes. So the three things that I want to do to um, change in this document, I want to change this to um, business holdings. So I want to get the correct legal name. So by using the full version of Word on the desktop via Office Demand, I can do a find and replace. And I also want to be able to save it as a PDF, and I want to mark this as a final version <coughs> for version control. Again, features that I can do from within the full version of Word. So I'm going to protect and mark as final. And I'm going to save as a PDF. So again, you notice it's opening up the dialog box for saving directly into SharePoint, and that's the benefit of being signed into Office. So we're saving as PDF. Interesting that it's picked up as Alicia. <laughs> So these are all benefits over and above trying to use Office Web App, the three things that I want to do. While well, that's chugging away there and um, uploading the document into Office 365. So now I'm going to open up the PDF to, to give me a preview of it, and it's doing that from Office 365 in the shared documents location. So we've still got Word open. We're finished with it now. Um, there we see now marked as final, so that's great. Um, other people that might be looking at that document can now identify it as it's the final version. We're now going to close Word. Close our PDF preview and sign out of Office 365. Great. So we've done all that. And um, just to show you, within um, Add and Remove Programs, the only thing that has been added is the Office On Demand add-ons as part of the browser. So all the, these functions of being able to um, launch on demand and install a stream version of Word or, or the Office products that are available, uh, you don't have to have admin permissions to do so. And the processes are still running in the background, but they'll shortly time bomb the Office location or the Office streamed folder 
that is sitting currently in the um, in the user's profile. So that's Office on Demand, and um, I hope that this has been beneficial. Thanks for watching.